Hey guys, it's Dodge News Vlogs, and today we got another uh, story that takes place during my school. Now this one does not involve a teacher, and instead uh, involves a friend and the uh, interesting circumstances he got into. So without further ado, I think we're just going to get into this. Now, for the sake of this video, I want to respect the privacy of my friend, so we're just going to call him Constantine. So I guess my friend Constantine seems to, he's a pretty normal kid, but sometimes he seems to uh, get in himself into some odd predicaments. So this first began when he is walking down the street and apparently he looks at this kid. Now, you'd think that just looking at a kid wouldn't really do anything, but I guess this kid who we're just gonna call Jim, was not, he was not having it. He was pissed off by this man staring at him. And so he decides to enact his revenge. He first just starts by, uh, just telling Constantine that he smells. That's basically it. He just harasses him over his smell, you know? He tries to get him to buy deodorant. You know, he even tries to buy deodorant for Constantine. All right. And this continues to happen, and it steadily it begins to build up and up and up. And eventually, he just can't take it anymore. And we get to the event. Now, this happened uh, during PE, and we were not actually doing anything. We were literally, it was a, uh, you know, makeup day. So we were just kind of walking down the track, and we were on one part of the track, you know, how it's an oval. We are right here. And the kids in the, the, the gang kid, the gang kid, is right around here. And so, I guess we decide that this aggression against Constantine will not stand. So we eventually, for some reason, we just come over and meet him. We kind of don't want to, but it just happens and we match together, alright? Upon this argument, it actually uh, starts out kind of normal, you know? Initially, it seems as if Constantine and the gang are actually going to be, they're going to be doing fine, you know? They say, hey, uh, I think you smell. Apparently, that's the reason that they were harassing Constantine here. This kid just says that Constantine smells, and he says that he'll even buy some deodorant for him, you know? It's just calm. We're all, everything's gonna be fine. There's gonna be nothing that's gonna happen. And you're gonna be okay, my child. You're gonna be okay, baby. Well, mostly. I guess Constantine, uh, well, I guess he wasn't having it that day. I guess he maybe isn't the best at diplomacy because he decides, he just decides to say, in response to him smelling, well, uh, sweating a lot is a sign of high testosterone, so, and, uh, after, I guess, you know, bo boosting his testosterone, this kid, this gang kid, decides against Constantine here that, well, shit, he's not gonna have it, so he just comes at Constantine, <laughs> he's straight up, I don't know, he starts jerking him around, he starts, you know, pulling against the camera, and then he gets his henchman, his little friend here, comes and basically does the same thing, but much more aggressively. You know, he's like coming at the camera. He's like forcing you really hard. And until eventually, uh, his shirt rips, Constantine's. And oops, now his uh, PE clothes have been destroyed. Now, prior to the uh, conflict with the gang, Constantine here did not want to fight. But now that his shirt is ruined, well, he's got to enter diplomacy mode. I mean, come on, man. It's a shirt. So, he decides, after a while, to go up to the gang. He decides that enough is enough. This aggression will not stand. And he decides, hey, I am going to take a stand. I want $5. And that's what he said to the kid in the gang. He said, hey... My shirt is destroyed. Give me five dollars. 
And he starts doing this. And suddenly everybody's like surrounding him. There's like, you know, me, you know, me and my friend, you know, we're like in a friend group. We're all kind of just standing there to the side in confusion. There's like 20 people recording him. You know, everybody's there. When he starts asking, you know, he's like, hey, I want, hey man, I want my shirt back. Can I have my shirt back? Come on. And the kid in the gang, he's not having it. He's like, hey, you smell. You need to wear some goddamn deodorant. Huh? Wear some deodorant, man. Wear some fucking, wear some deodorant, man. <laughs> and, you know, it just continues. But there is a good ending because, well, he, he doesn't get his $5 back. He, yeah, he doesn't get it. But there is a good ending, all right? Because luckily, although he did not win the war, luckily he won the war of diplomacy because, you know, luckily for him, everybody, everyone supports him. So, you know, everybody comes around and they like, you know, they offer to give him $5 and suddenly everything's all right again. You know, Constantine here, you know, he's not doing too bad. You know, he's, you know, maybe his shirt's still a little ripped up, but you know, now he's just, he's doing great. So anyways, that's my uh, little story. It may be a little short. I hope you enjoyed it. I guess this teaches a lesson that, uh, I guess don't confront gangs. Or maybe do, because people will support you. But uh, the moral of the story is you may or may not want to confront a gang if they wrong you. Anyways, uh, this is the end of the video. I just want to give a quick thank you to everybody because that video on the uh, on Phil the Pothead, that thing's doing really well. I think as of talking, it's got like 450 views and that's the most I've gained in such a short period of time. So I want to thank everyone for watching this. Everyone's blessing me in the comments. Everyone's saying how great it is. And you know what? There's even been some people who've been asking for more uh, Phil stuff. So don't worry. Because we got, I have plenty more stories that get even more interesting than what Phil has done in the first video. So, if you enjoyed that, you know, you can tell me if you've uh, fought a gang or if you have any uh, pothead teachers. And you know what? I'm Dodging These Vlogs and uh, peace, man.